Uh, chili peppers do what with a sock on their what? <laughs> they get it straight, our championship final. Smith and Stoklos against Johnson and Steffes. Chris Marlowe with Paul Sunderland, our second event of the year. And we'll be back with the start of the match after this. Welcome back, it's our championship final. Bobby Clark, our referee, and George Carey will ably assist from the umpire spot, George Carey. So here we go. You guys ready back here on TV. And here we go, walking back to serve the ball, Adam Johnson. No secret, they have to serve the ball better, must get off to a better start. AJ really came into his own last year, has turned 27, won a lot of events last year, six in his career overall. Adam Johnson, uh, the United States champion of a year ago with Ricky Ludis. One game to 15, double elimination, 10 minute rally clock. And Stoklos pounds the first one down. Randy Stoklos and Sinjin Smith. Been a team together since 1981. Look at Smith, 6'3", 190, 34 years old now, 130 wins, the all-time leader. And the first jump serves into the net, side throughout out. The, throughout the course of this tournament, I've seen Sinjin Smith put a lot more pop on his jump serve. Uh, just stronger, getting better with age, and really moving the ball around. He just used to try to get the ball in play with a jumper. Stoklos getting another spiking opportunity, and it appears that Johnson and Steffes will serve Stoklos to start it off. Well, Sinjin Smith, Randy Stoklos have only played two, ga two games to 15, two matches. There you get a look at Randy Stoklos, still one of the biggest and one of the best, getting up there 31 years of age now, 110 career wins overall, 109 yeah. of those with Sinjin Smith. And there's Stoklos, a point. point. One nothing Smith and Stoklos. 109 with Sinjin Smith. He's won one other tournament in his career with another partner. Smith has it. And it's put away by Smith. The other partner Randy Stoklos won with Jim Mengus, who is now a tour event coordinator, along with Matt Gage. Smith and Stoklos are trying to get off to a, the best and fastest possible start. They don't want to risk that Kent Steffes and Adam Johnson will get their second win. They're very, very fresh. We've talked about that. They want to come out and just crush it. Adam Johnson puts his first kill down. Johnson, 27 years old, lives in Capistrano Beach, California, married. Started last year, is ranked number 14 as he moved up quickly. I asked him what he did with all the money from last year. He yeah. said, Paul, I had a huge tax problem. I had to buy a house. <laughs> no, no kidding. <laughs> I said, not a bad problem. <laughs> You're just the one to tell him about that problem, yeah, too, I aren't guess, there, Paul? I guess. Over the top goes Randy Stoklos. And Sinjin Smith will put the ball in the play. His real name is Christopher St. John Smith. One of his sisters couldn't say St. John, so she said, Sinjin. Yeah. And there it was. Sinjin was born. And Steffes taps it down the line. 2-0 is our score. Smith and Stoklos have an early lead. Steffes and Johnson must concentrate, serving tough, passing the ball well. Kent Steffes, one of the best players out here, only 23 years of age, 17 career victories already. Been out on the tour for three or four years with five different partners. Showing his versatility, Steffes, they have to serve well. They go to Stoklos. And he buries it cross court. Okay, this is just hitting practice right now. Smith and Stoklos have come out. You cannot underestimate how important all the rest is. You win the winner's bracket, you cruise right on through undefeated. You get to just leave the beach, just relax, take in your fluids, and you come out while everybody else has been working so hard. The most valuable player the last three out of four okay. years. And the year he didn't win it, he probably should have gotten it also. Even Karch Karai won it, said, yeah, Randy should have got it that year. And he did that at the awards banquet. Yeah. Karch is up there accepting the award and said, I don't deserve this. Randy Stoklos, the man in peach right there, should have been the MVP. They're trying to block Kent Steffes. So Johnson to put the ball in play. 
Six wins last year. Coming off the right side this time. And Smith shows heat. Seva's not going to get there. You know, the rain out might have aided uh, Sinjin Smith uh, last week. That's a long season. He's been out on tour for years and years. And because of the rain out on Sunday last week, he just took the day off and went home. And uh, certainly another, another week of uh, wear and tear on his legs and shoulder. 23 and 13 in finals last year. But remember last year, last three years, I should say, Over. just no, keep no, in no. mind, was that ball touched? Yes. That Smith played last year with an injured wrist most of the year. He had a cyst removed, so he was not 100%. Good to see Adam Johnson setting this ball with his hands. That means two things. Kent Steffes is passing the ball better, and he's playing with more confidence here in the finals. 23-year-old Kent Steffes having a great career so far. Improving every year. Certainly one of the best players on the tour. And drilling hard. See the heat? Sinjin Smith hitting the ball harder. Johnson could not bring it up. Give the kill to Sinjin Smith. We should tell you that Killer Loop Sunglasses by Bausch & Loam this week will present the Killer Loop Kill Award. Tight set. Whichever player gets the most kills in our final match will receive $500 from Bausch & Loam for his performance. So the Killer Loop Kill Award is up for grabs. A new example of Killer Loops worn by Randy Stoklos. New model out there today. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. 2-0 Smith and Stoklos in our championship. Come on. Come on. Get up there. Ooh. Perfect set that time by Smith, but to the wrong team. <laughs> Steffes <laughs> tapping it down. Well, the last thing that Randy Stoklos wanted to have happen, not a great pass, much too close to the net. Sinjin got there in plenty of time, maybe trying to be a little bit too precise. You want to bring the ball back off the net, two, three feet. Always make sure your hitter can at least swing, take his choice of shots. If you haven't seen Adam Johnson play before, he's wearing Nike foot digs. Those are his personal footwear, his beach footwear that he uses to take off. Over, Randy. Some of the other players do use him on the tour, but he is the main man for that particular item. Nice call by Sinjin Smith. Good communication. After Stoklos passes the ball, Sinjin sets the ball, looks at the defense. He calls line. Right now he sees Adam Johnson moving to the cross court. Easy side out down the line. Have got to communicate on every play. Johnson coordinated with his foot digs and his trunks today. He's a fashion player. Yeah. It's another thing you got to worry about. <laughs> You got to look good. Good shot. Great hit by Kent Steffes off about eight feet. So Steffes puts heavy heat from the right side. Somebody said a long time ago, if you don't look good, you can't play good. And uh, Adam living up to that part of the bargain. I wish Adam Johnson had set that ball with his hands. But in any case, this one on the money and Kent drilling hard cross court. Stop so close. You get the feeling that the fans are for Steffes and Johnson here. Well, look at Kent Steffes. Look at him shuffling his feet, finally moving the block far enough into the angle to give to take some court away from Randy Stokos. Randy hitting such sharp angle, you've got to make big moves, not little ones. We're tied at two. Tight set. Smith gently taps. Here, we're talking about color coordination. All players coordinated. Now, look at Smith. He has got the aqua hat, but he's also got the aqua and fuchsia trunks. Stoklos, he has got the peach trunks with the, uh, there's Smith. Looking good. Stoklos, he's color coordinated. Got some peach with the aqua. So, everybody looking good today. Down the line goes Steffes. Side out. 2-2 two -two is our score. We're to, uh, tied on the fashion meter and tied on the scoreboard, huh? And I'm tongue-tied. Johnson? Got the black visor, though. I didn't see that. That cost him points? <laughs> yes. Stoklos off Steffes' hands, side out. Smith and Stoklos. They won in Honolulu. They also won the first international tournament of the year. The FIVB tournament in Rio de Janeiro. One in Australia. So three 
official or unofficial wins so far this year. Three tournament wins, we should say. The only thing that stopped him last week was rain. Nice cut. Steffes dices one. Get yourself out of trouble when you have good shots. Look at Kent Steffes. He's down, but not out. AJ giving him height, so he has time to look at the court. Sinjin was in the cross court, just didn't make a move after the cut from Wind Kent Steffes. has dropped. And Steffes with a bad toss. Hey, the conditions, I think, have really helped Adam Johnson and Kent Steffes. If it was 85 degrees and sunny Florida weather, they would really be in trouble. Still close. Set to put the ball in play. Into the net. A couple of missed serves. It was a big story in the finals of our consolation bracket and continues to be so here. Serving, very important. All the players know it. We haven't seen an ace yet, have we? I have not seen no. an ace. AJ trying to dial one up here. It's tied at two. <laughs> well, you have to tell that it is early season. Oh, you're being too nice. Well, These after guys. the Hawaiian event, there was three weeks off, and last week was a rain out, so the players had not, I wouldn't say in mid-season form, See, certainly serving-wise. Okay. No. No. So you're saying, you're saying they're serving crappy? Yes, that's, that's what exactly you're what I'm okay. saying. Why? Well, I don't know why. Okay. We'll have to ask them afterwards. Their, their technique seems the same. I don't know if they're a little bit tired, uh, concentration. Um, either way, they're just... They being right now, Steffes and Johnson, their service game, which is so important to them, has not been effective. And There's a little Steffes. lollipop. Right to Stokey. Let's see if he can lick this one. Great shot. Yes, he does. Rolling it right over the top. So Randy Stoklos at the Pacific Palisades, California. Went to UCLA. $221,000 he won in 1990. And last year, look at that, 291. Yeah. Service errors mounting up quickly. Second for Stoklos, five overall between these two teams. Not a bad number as long as you have two or three aces thrown in, but uh, they don't even have any near aces. And Smith trying to chop it inside, cannot. And we'll take our first break. Steffes and Johnson, three. Smith and Stoklos, two, when we come back. Suffering through the action for you. Are you kidding? We're glad to be here. Sinjin Smith's road to the finals, an easy first round matchup. Then getting by Breivich and Rogers, 13 to 11. That was a tough one. Mirren Wirtz, barely. Mirren Wirtz had a 14 to 11 lead. Prohoff and Whitmarsh easily. And then Johnson and Steffeth. So Smith and Stokos really picking it up right now. Did not play that well on Saturday. Played very well on Sunday. Here you see Adam Johnson, Kent Steffes. Very easy in the first round. Chavez and Young played well. Hanley and Verb, that was a war. Hovland and Dodd, that was a war. And then you see the results. They get bombed by Smith and Stokos. They squeak past Powers and Lewis. And here they're matching up once again in the finals. Adam Johnson to put the ball in play. On the good side now. Just barely, though. Wind has dropped. 3-2, Johnson and Steffes. Blocks! <laughs> Steffes, his second stuff block. Talked so much to Ken Steffes and Adam Johnson in the interview after the last match about being tired and whatnot. And, and after we left the interview, Ken Steffes looked back over his shoulder and he said, Paul, hey, we're all right, don't worry. Steffes taps it, but can't get it. Off speed by Stoklos, side out. And if Kent Steffes is still jumping high enough to get to the, the Stoklos roll shot, he's doing very well. Young lug, legs may prevail. So Smith clearing his pathway. He'll jump serve, I think. Yeah. Over the top, gives Kent Steffes the kill. what they had to do early, control the ball well, and Steffes and Johnson have been doing exactly that. Still no wind. Good. 
Nice dig. Chance for a point. Yeah. Steffes with three fabulous early plays. Convert and conquer because they've played more games. Every time they get a point scoring opportunity, they've got to make the play. Fake block and then just get your hands up quick enough and early enough and then deep cross court corner. Six to two. Smith and Stokelo scored the first two points, but Stephan and Cephas and Johnson coming back with six straight now. Somebody just gave them a wake-up call for their service game. Adam Johnson and Kent Stephas look much better now serving the ball. Dig. Another point. On a run, serving the ball better, making good moves. Fake blocking here, Adam Johnson getting into the angle. I wonder if Steph has touched that ball on the block. I think he did, otherwise would have said his partner. First time out taken by Sinjin Smith and Randy Stokelos. We're going to come back seven to two. Steph and Johnson. Just a reminder that we will be presenting the Killer Lou Kill Award. The player in the final with the most kills win $500. Courtesy of Bausch and Lom, the official sunglass sponsors of the men's professional tour. So far, Steph is in the lead with 10, right behind Stoklos with nine. Smith and Johnson not getting less action so far. John Johnson and Steph have really turned up and out another block. So much for being tired, Sunday. We're the young guys with the fresh legs. Get the T.O., baby. Eight to two. Smith and Stoklos are behind. Eight to two. Chris Marlowe back with Paul Sunderland. Smith and Stoklos got the first two points. But then Johnson and Steffes have roared out eight to two. Steffes has blocked three straight down. A couple of digs by Steffes, a couple by Johnson, and that's where we stand. Playing good defense. This is the quality of volleyball that Adam Johnson and Kent Steffes can play, both with good jump serves, both with good ball control. Blocking of Kent Steffes, AJ digging everything in sight right now. Here comes Randy Stokelos, and he tips it inside, side out. Nicely done. So far, the serving story, Chris. Randy Stokelos has been served 10 times. Sinjin Smith, only four so far. Working on Randy Stokelos, makes Sinjin Smith set the ball. Adam Johnson usually makes that play. Just got to a late start. He's taken off his sunglasses, Paul, so he means business now. It is gray day. darker here. Yeah, yeah, it's a gray day right now. Steffes. Out of bounds. Point. That's, that's the perfect way to put the end of momentum. Good looking side out play, and Kent drills the ball, but just out of bounds. Can you end momentum, or do you just lose momentum? I think they just lost momentum. Okay. They're looking for it right now to side out. Trying to get serious. Wind is picked up now. Yep. Oh, they, they just got it back. Yeah. They just got it back. Well, let's remember. The sand here is very, very fine, but very hard packed. Very hard packed, easy to jump off of. This is a tough play to make. On the offhand, Kent Steffes says, what the heck? He just bounces it into the stratosphere. Wind picking up here, and it's blowing left to right on your screen. So Smith and Stokos on the good side now, definitely. That's trouble. Pokey point. Good pass by Randy Stoklos. This ball just set once second. again. Wait a second. The pass is like 40 feet in the air, Paul. It, yeah, tough jump serve. Yeah, high pass, but look <laughs> at the location. That's a pretty good pass, and Sinchin just makes the mistake, sets the ball over the net. All right. That was a tough jump serve. In a good corner. position, but pass was high. Yeah, not that easy a ball to set. No, but, and uh, a tough one to receive as Johnson and Steffi's now 9-3. to three. Smith is now turned into the setter all of a sudden. That's a tough pass and a tough set. Good oh. hit. 
What a big what shot cross court. Randy Stoklos, uh, I mentioned in the Honolulu telecast that he had hit the second hardest ball that I had ever seen, one in Manhattan that bounced back over the net. A couple of people have written to me, especially Amy Short of Petaluma, California, and said, Chris, you didn't tell us who hit the hardest ball you ever saw. Well, it was in 1967, an all-star player, Ernie Sawara, hit one at State Beach at against Ron Lang and Ron Van Hagen. He was right on top of that. It hit straight down, and the ball stuck in the sand and sizzled. <laughs> hit the ground as the side out goes. It, well, I like this ball. He hit it straight down and went and stuck and sizzled in the sand. <laughs> Sizzling. That was it. Also too tight. Adamson going up swinging hard. Randy Stoklos into the net. Everything going the way of Adam Johnson and Kent Steffes right now. Nine to three is our score. That one going long. So the second hardest ball ever hit by that man. Hit one in Manhattan. It bounced in the right corner. And bounced back over the net. Still and he's get, getting, yeah, getting into the crowd just a little bit and responds with the ace. Damn. Randy and Sinjin Smith have been so successful that a lot of people cheer against them, yeah. you know, but and yeah. so they want to work the crowd and uh, everybody certainly appreciates the way they play, but uh, everybody loves the underdog. And nobody loves Goliath, and that's what Smith and Stoklos have been. Nine to four now. Can really hear Adam Johnson over the top, over. Remember we talked about second win? Well, I'm telling you, Adam Johnson and Kent Steffes have found it. Kent Steffes with three stuff blocks, Randy Stoklos with only one, and that one was early. And good pressure on the serve. So Johnson to serve it up. In case you didn't hear the news, his partner Ricky Ludes uh, broke or sprained his hand. He is in a cast and will not be back for at least four weeks. Side out. Johnson and Steph is really keeping the pressure on Randy Stoklos. He's got to pass the ball well, and then this time just cutting outside the block down the line for the side out. Sinjin Smith, who just went over the million dollar mark with his win in Brazil. That was after the Honolulu tournament. At least according to official ABP figures. He is over a million dollars, but he, unfortunately he did it very quietly with his winnings from last week in Pensacola, Florida that were rained out. They paid through fifth position, and that just nudged him over the million dollars. Now, wait a mark. second. They said that they were over after Brazil. Not, not right? Tight set again. Johnson! We may be confused about where Smith earned his million, but we know where Smith and Stoklos are taking it right now, and they are getting hurt badly. Convert and conquer. Adam Johnson digs the ball. You have got to respond. Set the ball if you're Kent Steffes. Nice kill on the outside by AJ. 10-4, double elimination. Johnson and Steffes have to win this game and then win one to seven points. That would be the double final. Crowd into it now a little bit for Smith and Stoklos. Want to see them come back. You know, I think, Paul, uh, looking at this crowd, they're a little dead in the semi. I don't think any of them thought that Johnson and Steffes could give Smith and Stoklos a game. Well, there's been huge crowds here all weekend. They have followed Adam Johnson and Kent Steffes, saw the winner's bracket final earlier, and saw them get drilled by Smith and Stoklos. Steffes rips another one. Boy, is he playing beautifully so far in this one. Just looked like a different team. Fresh, they're jumping high. AJ checking the win for the jump serve, but nothing to check about this. Randy Stoklos fake blocking. Sinjin Smith a little confused by that move in the back row. We've dipped under the six minute mark in this game, playing on the 10 minute rally clock. Down the line, out of bounds. I like it that Adam Johnson and Kent Steff is with this big lead, taking some chances with their serving talked about uh, them playing a number of extra games. They don't need to dilly-dally around. They need to stay with a Carl Lewis mode and finish this game out. And nice cut. And good call by Steffes. First word out of his mouth was Langle. And then you change it, you call again. And when he saw the open area, angle, angle, you have to keep communicating on every single play. 
Stephenson Johnson by six here in our championship final. going for it. They made the right decision. You fake block on the bad pass and set. Ball control error by Randy Stoklos and Sinjin Smith. You drop back. You play defense. Look at this. Good drop back. Look at the ball drifting back off the net. Right up the middle. Somebody has got to take control of that play. Tough one to call, but I think that's Johnson's ball. He's behind. He's coming in. Yeah, I think it's AJ's ball because Kent is still backing up from his blocking position. The whole play is in front of Adam Johnson. You see it, you call it, you make the play. 10-4 when that play happens. We'll mark it down. AJ will serve. And Johnson, two service errors in a row. So Smith and Stoklos chatting it over in the far corner as Smith prepares to serve it up. Great college player, the NCAA Player of the Year for UCLA. Back in the 70s. Johnson kabooms one. Once again, Johnson and Stephens look so fresh. Ball control essential to getting in a good groove, feeling comfortable out on the court. They're passing the ball perfectly, both setting the ball with their hands. Five thirty-seven to go, off the ten-minute clock. Starfall is touching. Okay, Stoklos and Smith really have to pick up their game in terms of scoring points. Obviously, that you can tell that from the scoreboard, but blocking has been Stokey's mainstay through the years. He has one stuff block. Sinjin Smith, maybe the best defensive player over the last 15 years on the tour, he has one dig. Not getting any point scoring opportunities. His record superb in the finals, as you saw. That jump serve out of bounds. And A.J. will have it. Service story, Stoklos and Steffes with an ace, but the errors, three, four, seven, nine service errors. Make it 10 now, as Johnson can't get his in. That's three in a row for him. So he was, Sinjin Smith will serve. Adam Johnson, very effective when, I, when he was drilling the jump serve. Now he's tried to move it around, find a very precise location, and having some problems finding the court. Good call, good cut. See, the communication becomes very easy when you're passing the ball perfectly. You just walk up, set the ball, have plenty of time to look. You don't have to worry about sprinting after a ball that's passed badly. We told you a little earlier that Kent Steffes had won with five different partners. John Stevenson, Karch Karai, Tim Hovland, Dan Verbalovich, and Adam Johnson. And interestingly, when Steffes had to break up with Hovland, he said it was the toughest call he ever had to make. He was hoping to get Hovland's answering machine. <laughs> And most times you will get the Hobbs answering machine, but uh, unfortunately for young Kent Steffes, the Hob was home and a, a tough conversation. Steffes stumping. Boy, he's hitting a sharp cross court very well today. Hey, just picking the ball off so far inside. Randy Stoklos got to make the adjustment, probably move the block in a little bit against Kent Steffes. AJ setting the ball with his hands. That's a key. Look at this, just chopping the ball off quickly and Sinjin Smith running the wrong direction. Johnson, three service errors in a row. Can he get it in? Low set. Blocked, Steffes. So the temporary tandem, looking like a permanent thing. We go to break, 11 to four. Ladies and gentlemen, left in game number one. Back at the Miller Lite, Fort Myers open. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, and Randy Stoklos. Of course, he's partnered with Sinjin Smith, and they're getting clobbered right now. Steffes and Johnson taking it to him. Four minutes and three seconds remaining, but it won't go that long. As Steffes trying to dial it up, and Smith and Stoklos take another time out their third. I think this should be done away with. They should yeah. not let the players on the tour take successive timeouts. Yeah, they already have too many. It's yeah, a you joke. Cannot, I, I, I don't think you can take back-to-back -back timeouts yeah. unless, and Kent Steffes doesn't like the idea much either. That's well, good gamesmanship by Smith and Stoklos. Yeah. They just shouldn't let them do yeah. it. It's ridiculous. 
They're doing what the rules allow and uh, certainly taking advantage of it. 1990, Adam Johnson 39th, then 14th, then all the way up to fourth. Steffes 11th, sixth, and third, and they're becoming very rich young men. And they're making some good bread, too. <laughs> Smith too. and Suggles come back out. They have one more timeout left. Not impossible that they might use it right here, trying to make that man mad. And well, watch Steffes' face if they dial up another timeout. Wouldn't be do it. They do. They do. Is he going to take it? He is. And that's just to piss Steffes off. <laughs> to what? Piss him off. That's right. And it everybody, does. Everybody knows, everybody knows that we're going to have another game to seven. And right now, Sinjin Smith is trying to get in Kent Steffes' head and say, look, kid, if you want to beat me, you're going to have to wait just a little bit longer, trying to break the momentum, break their concentration. And it does. It, it works. Absolutely it does. This is good gamesmanship. I just think the rules should be changed so as not to allow it. I don't think you should be able to take successive timeouts unless it's in case of injury. Or the second timeout should only be like 10 seconds or something like that. Smith I know in basketball you call a timeout to set an inbounds play. Then you check the defense, then you call another one. Yeah. But uh, this should not be allowed. Well, they have run out of timeout, Smith and Stoklo. So Steffes, let's see if he serves it in. If he serves an ace, the crowd will go crazy. If he serves it in the net, Smith and Stoklos will go crazy. They will have accomplished their task. They will have gotten in Kent's head. Stoklos. And he bangs it out of bounds. We are going to a double final. Looking at the line, it won't do. First final to Johnson and Steffes. The double is coming up. Other finishers in this tournament, John Hanley and Dan Verbalovich. Good to see Verbi back out on tour. Ninth place, Scott Friedrichsen, Troy Tanner, and Doug Faust, and Jeff Southcott. Those are the finishers we did not see today, along with Carrillo and Henkel, Stafford and Carey in 13th, and the rest of the gang in 17th. So it is on to our double final. Steffes okay, and Johnson, so Smith and Stokos, one game to seven court. points, five-minute rally clock. In the far court, and, and what else, Paul? Well, here are the, here are the rules. Champions. Must win only by Randy one, side Stokos change every two Simpson points instead of five, as we would if we were playing to 15. Five-minute rally clock, I don't think it'll be a factor. And we've got Ladies two more timeouts per team. The guys who are Smith and Stoklos the must get off to a good start. They They've got to serve Adam tougher. Johnson Adam Johnson and Kent Steffes, on the other hand, will continue to pass the ball well. They're both setting each other extremely well. And if Kent Steffes blocks the way he did in the game to 15, I think Adam Johnson and Kent Steffes might be on their way to winning their first tournament together. Good news. We go to this, the double final. The bad news, each team has two more timeouts. Steffes. Start of this game, start of this game, so, so yeah. important. Can Steffes and Johnson continue the momentum over into this double final? Can Smith and Stoklos get themselves started? They played very, very flat. Smith and Stoklos, one in Australia, one in Honolulu, and one in Brazil. Got three in a row so far. Johnson and Steffes trying to break through. Right back over the net. Watch Randy hitting. And angle, angle, angle. Pretty good shot. Yeah, very deep. Want to keep that ball deep. Side out. Pretty good hit by Smith. Yeah, 10 feet back. First point scoring opportunity for Johnson and Steffes by the board. The veteran Smith and Stoklos save the side out. Fake blocker, you hit right at him. He's retreating. It's very difficult to retreat. You must have your hands up at all times. Retreat and play defense at the same time. No score. Steffes taps it over the top. So the fact that Steffes was able to crank some balls inside, show a pretty good cut shot. It just opens up the rest of the court. You show the heater cross court. You show the good, sharp cut shot. And St. John Smith then must respect that. It opens up the line. It's going to be trouble. Johnson. Trying to get to point number one. Bad set. Bad set and transition by Kent Steffes, and he knows it. 
Johnson. It was a little low for Johnson. Yeah. Well, just the location was bad. The whole tempo to the play was wrong. Adam Johnson just long over the Adam Johnson line. knows Side he's got to keep that ball close. in, but uh, not a good set in transition. Once again, uh, Baoshan Lom giving $500 to the Killer Loop Kill Award winner. Who has the most kills? We'll update that for you in just a second. Steffes ahead with 22 kills, going for number 23 right here. Over the line, Steffes with 23 kills. Oh, we talked about the sand sticking to you. Sinjin Smith fully extended, going for the line shot, getting closer and closer to it. Adam Johnson must continue to communicate with Kent Steffes, make him know so he can slice off the cut shot away from Sinjin Smith. And Smith dove all out, may have ate a little sand on that. As he brushes off. Well, believe it or not, according to our stats, Sinjin Smith, after all this time, still has only one dig. Well, oh, they did. Very, they only scored four points yeah, in that one game. Yeah, but that's very un-Sinjin Smith-like, and you give Adam Johnson good. Kent Steffes some credit. Very good offensive volleyball by them. Inside, Smith gets the kill. Sinjin Smith off the block of Kent Steffes, just outside the reach of a diving Adam Johnson. Side Adam out. Johnson is leaning, Randy watching, Stumbles. playing defense behind Kent Steffes. He's on the break. He was there, just stopped. He read the play, but as the ball is being hit, really important that your stops, so you can move in both directions. Stokos, intense. And Steffes jumping high and tapping it straight down. The, well, the ball control is the key. Kent Steffes really struggled early in the day passing the ball. He has been nails, perfect passing throughout the course of this final. And he will serve. See the amount of balls he is receiving, terminating most of them. Still close right behind. Steffes and Johnson also on the good side. Chasing Steffes! Can't get that. And Steffes may have eaten some sand that time. Yeah, he's got a new goatee and it's all white. From the sand of the goat. Well, that's a, that is really a sandwich, huh? <laughs> well, they're paying the price going after the ball. Well, Smith ate a little earlier and now Steffes, boy, both players uh, digging and chugging, trying to get there. Pour a little Avion a water in there and douse that thing out. Yeah, this may take a little while to yeah. clean up. Kent got a late start on the ball, long sprint to go after it. He should take as much time as he can right now and not hop right back into it. Well, as much time as the referee yeah. will allow. It's up to the referee to keep play moving and say, okay, you're clean enough, let's go play. No score, Smith serving. You establish the line, you show the line, you tap the line, you roll the line. Now you dice off the cut shot. Kent Steffes is really on a roll. Look for Randy Stokos, Sinjin Smith to start serving Adam Johnson. Steffes really on a roll here. Smith and Stokos preparing for Johnson. The side out streak is nine, no points scored. No score, double final. Over, Randy. Right, set back off the net. And Steph is still up there, and Stoklos puts it away. Excellent shot by Randy Stoklos. The ball sent well off the net. Hard to hit the ball hard from that far off the net. And Kent Steph is, look at Sinjin Smith talking right now, call in line. He's staring at his defensive counterpart, Adam Johnson, the whole way. We've dipped under four minutes to play in the double final. And they serve Johnson. And he comes through for the side out. Johnson and Steffes have had their chances. They've had a couple of point scoring opportunities. One good one that Johnson hit out of bounds. But Smith and Soko, as you can see in their minds, get a point here, a point or two, and we'll go over to the good side and roll over to three or four. Stokos right over the top that time. Randy getting up very, very high. Boy, this first point on the scoreboard in the double final game is taking on very, very important proportions. Going to be a big factor in terms of establishing momentum. Stokos, the first million dollar man, gives the ball to the second million dollar man, his partner, Sinjin Smith. Smith has it. Can he convert? Yes. 
As long as you side out, it is just a matter of time before Sinjin Smith figures things out, gets the dig, and then converts. Only his second dig in the match, but that one scores a very important point. One to nothing. Smith and Stoklos lead it. Smith again. Smith again. Hey, the drought is over. Smith and Stokos going to change sides on a roll. Yes, Two to nothing. We'll be back after this. Chris Marlowe back with Paul Sunderland. The championship final, the championship double final of the Miller Lite Fort Myers Open. Cloud cover has come in. It is chilled down. Smith and Stokos holding at two to nothing. And Johnson tattoos one. Stop me once, okay. Stop me twice, but never three times in a row. AJ coming for the side out. Good for a side out. Kent Steffes giving him the perfect set, and AJ ripping the ball hard down the line. Important possession, I think, for Steffes and, St and uh, Adam Johnson. Imperative they get on the scoreboard here pretty quickly. You almost said and Steffes. Was that a Freudian slip of things to no, come? No, no, no. I think it's actually going to be Adam Johnson and Randy Stoklos in years to come. Randy Stoklos blocked by Steffes. Right on cue, important possession. Making it happen, Kent Steffes blocking the ball again. Kent Steffes has been making much better blocking moves. Look at him take the big step in, denying the angle to Randy Stoklos. One serving two, three minutes and eight seconds to go in the game. one down. You've got your fan club sitting over there. I'm telling you, Randy Stoklos has got a small pocket of friends who loved this one. I'll tell you, they could feel this one hit the sand over where they're sitting. He's running, he's running, he's running. He's running. How'd you like that one? Stoklos out of bounds. So Johnson hits it off Stoklos, out of bounds. He gets a kill, side out. Playing to seven. The same two teams that battled right to sudden death in Hawaii. A long two-day tournament, a great tournament here in Fort Myers. Thank all the fans for coming out. They've been rabid. Stoklos, block back, tip, Smith touches it. Lots of open court. Good recognition by Sinjin Smith. By the Wiley veteran, Sinjin Smith. Again, the spike by Smith. Smith will court. serve. Side out. Smith to serve. Won his first tournament back in 1977. 34. Oldest among the top 40. Top 40 or pop 40? <laughs> Johnson zips it through. Plenty left. Young legs. These are two of the hardest trainers in the offseason, Adam Johnson, Kent Steffes. They know their way to the weight room. They get down to the beach and train. They do their jumps. They were really down in the dumps earlier in this tournament, getting slaughtered by Smith and Stokos 15 to 3 in the finals of the winner's bracket, but really have gotten their second win playing well. Boy, that was a beautiful set by Sinjin Smith. Spinning pass to his right, popped it straight up, and Stoklos thunders it. Sinjin taking everything off this ball. Lots of spin. Look at Sinjin. Look at that. Perfect loft trajectory, and Stoklos takes care of the rest. Steph is trying to move in and get that angle. He leaves so much line open, I think then Johnson has to get back for the cuff. Shot! Steffes. And he taps it down the line. But Smith is starting to get a lot closer to those. Picked up a couple earlier. That's how they got on the scoreboard on Adam Johnson and Kent Steffes on the shot. I think Kent needs to hit a few balls here. The rally clock at 2 minutes 34 seconds. Coming back. 
We are tied at two. That ball stayed in Kent Steffes' hands a long time. He knew that was an important swing. Convert and conquer. Two minutes and 26 seconds to go in the game. 2-2 two -two here in Fort Myers. Chris Marlowe and Paul Sunderland, a minute, five to play. Smith and Stoklos in the driver's seat, leading 5-3. Johnson and Steffes in trouble. That time, over the top, Steffes gets the side out. Steffes and Johnson, I think, need two points on this side right now. Well, they, they can't need win to it. get something back. They need to even this thing up in a hurry. A.J.'s got to go for the tough jump serve. And as hot as Steffes was blocking, and he got one stuff blocked in this game, he hasn't touched many in the later stages. Stokos has been siding out very well. I yes. think you got to go back to Smith, maybe. See what Johnson does. Good, good. Try Smith. Right there, and I'm playing. And Smith takes it down the line. You know, it's like a, 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 a light went on. Sinjin Smith now much more emotional. He knows this is crunch time, pushing much harder on every single play. Clock coming into play. 53 seconds to go. Off a 10-minute clock. Remember, we played an 8-minute clock in Hawaii. This match had already be over. Tight set. Tight set. Actually, I should say here in the double final, it's off a 5-minute clock. They cut it in half. I thought this was trouble right away. Very tight set. Randy, again, another field goal. Two lucky plays. Randy Stokos has that characteristic of taking his arms and sweeping from the outside in, sometimes costing field goals. That's out. Stephen and Johnson get a point, so Stokos hits one out of bounds. Stephen Johnson within one. 41 seconds to go. Stoklos and Smith have been in this situation over and over again through the years, but the pressure doesn't change. Oh, big miss, big miss. Smith in sky ball position. His team leading by one with 40 seconds to play. saying the serve went outside the antenna. Marvin Hall, the linesman, making the call. Bobby Clark explaining. Sky ball has to travel inside the antennas. It did not, according to linesman Marvin Hall, and that's what they're arguing about. They called it. The antennas are directly above the sidelines. All play, all balls must pass over the net in between those two sideline antennas. Ken Johnson and Steffes take advantage. Randy's going to try to bury this. Stephens has it to tie it up right here. Got it! 26 seconds left to play. We are tied. This is the match that won't go away. I thought Stoklos would detonate on that ball, angry about the call. Instead, just pokies it right to Kent Stephens. I just don't understand this. Got to be thinking you got to power that ball straight down. No block that time from Kent Steffes. Big mistake by Randy Stoklos. 5-5. Five, five. If we're tied at the end of regulation, we go to sudden death. I think. Stoklos. Dog by Johnson. 20 seconds on the clock. Smith. Dog by Johnson. 15 seconds on the clock. Smith with 11 seconds. Dug by Steffes. This could be it. Seven seconds. Down the line. <laughs> 
Adam Johnson, Kent Steffes with the lead. If Smith and Stoklos side out, big deal. It doesn't do them any good. They have to side out very, very quickly. Adam Johnson will try to serve the ball high enough. The clock starts as soon as the ball is served. What Sinjin Smith will try to do is pass the ball right to the net so Randy Stoklos can kill the ball on two. Save seconds. If you're smart, if you're Johnson and Steffes, you take time out right now and discuss what to do. 5.4 seconds. Smith and Stoklos have to side out before the clock runs out. Time running down. Smith, got it! 1.1 second left. There it was, the serve and the hit on two. Very smart play by Smith and Stoklos. But they now must score if Johnson and Steffes can side out. The match is over. Six to five, Johnson and Steffes by one. 1.1. Smith and Stoklos have to block one or dig one to put it away. Time is out for the win. Johnson. Yes! Sunglasses by Bausch & Lomb, the official sunglasses of the Men's Professional Tour. Pleased to present this week's Killer Loop Kill Award to Kent Steffes. Yes, Kent Steffes. He scored the most kills in this week's final match. 30 for Steffes, who will receive $500 from Bausch & Lomb for his killer performance. And what a performance it was. Johnson and Steffes, are they stoked? Is Paul Sunderland stoked? Let's find out from all three. Paul? The winners of the match that wouldn't end. Kent Steffes, Adam Johnson, an unbelievable comeback. When did you get your second wind? It really looked like you were just not tired at all in the finals. Well, again, the weather uh, came down a little yeah. bit temperature-wise, and we got fired up for the final. They play a lot better finals of the winner's bracket game this time than they did in the finals, and that helped a lot, too. You serve Randy Stoklos almost exclusively. Why? Well. I don't, I don't think there's a reason uh, other than, uh, you know, having Kent block either, you know, his line or angle, and hopefully I can pick up one of his shots. But he was, he was bearing some, uh, some angle shots that I couldn't <laughs> pick up. So we just, got, we just thought we'd go to him and tire him out. Did it bother you uh, playing against the most experienced team when Sinjin Smith breaks out the sky ball? It's like a change in momentum, and they really took a lead on you right there at the end. Were you starting to get pretty nervous? I don't know if we're starting to get nervous. You know, it's just something we haven't seen in a while, the sky ball. Uh, I, you know, I cranial bad on that one and hit it over on two, which was the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Well, you're young. There'll be more. Hey, we got to go catch a plane. Congratulations to you both. That's a tremendous comeback coming back through the loser's bracket. Adam Johnson, Kent Steffes, their first win of the year in Fort Myers, probably not the last. Back to you, Chris.